What is up, Danny Gang? Like, I almost did not start this vlog because y'all, I am struggling. And y'all, I'm struggling. So, Babe had to go out of town for about a week and he left on Sunday, the last Sunday, when y'all are watching this video. So, some days ago, and I was like, ooh, this is the perfect time to like be focused, no distractions, he's out of town. So, I'm gonna like do my big one. I'm going to um, cut back on my carbs. I'm gonna increase my water. Cause again, like I always say, you can do it with your partner around, but it's just easier when you don't have any distractions and not saying that he distracts me or makes me like eat things that I don't wanna do. But y'all already know when you with your man or if you with your woman or whatever, you tend to do things that you would normally do if you were by yourself. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect time to like do my big one, like cut back on uh, carbs and get more water. So I started yesterday and yesterday I didn't eat anything. Yesterday, Sunday, I didn't eat anything. I just fasted the whole entire day. I'm using the Zero app. I'm struggling today, y'all, because I haven't had any caffeine. And not really purposely, I just I didn't have a taste for it. I've been drinking water, so I don't care for it. So. I don't know what's going on, but um, I just wanted to come start this vlog off because I put a vlog out on my book channel, but I have not vlogged for y'all yet. So I was like, let me come talk to y'all. Hold on. <sighs> so yeah, I was like, let me come talk to y'all. Start a vlog over here. But y'all, my head is banging. My head is banging, and I think it's because I haven't had any caffeine. Um, which sucks so bad if y'all have ever been going through like caffeine withdrawals. It sucks so freaking bad. So, um, I didn't eat or drink anything yesterday and I ended up losing two pounds overnight. So that's cool. Um, the main reason that I am trying to clean up my diet, um, one second. Hi, how are you? Hey. Okay. I had to get my, um, I had to get my target order y'all. So I'm sorry if that was kind of rude i just got off the got off the vlog but um i i tried to start this video before but it didn't go the way that i wanted it to go so that's why i'm starting over now but my main reason of like trying to get more water in, in my system and clean up my diet is because y'all i am having some like severe in my opinion skin issues like i'm having skin issues that i've never had before and i just don't know if it comes with age or what's going on but i'm having issues with my skin and that's why i want to like cut back on everything i'm doing like i don't plan to drink this week i'm gonna keep my carbs extremely low i'm drinking a lot of water because i really want to flush my system because my skin is acting weird i'm sure i am putting some pictures on the screen but yeah my skin has been acting weird i'm getting like a lot of rough patches but it's not like eczema it doesn't look like eczema it looks like something else and i'm getting them on my legs i'm getting them on my hands my arms and i just don't know what it is it's freaking me out i've changed my soap so the only other thing that I can try is my diet, which is why I'm super serious about this because now I'm getting like rough rash marks and spots on my skin. So that is why I am trying to really focus this week for sure and just like drink lots of water. Um, like I said, since babe's not home, I won't feel as <laughs> ready to like eat out and stuff. Um, but yeah, y'all, I got a headache. I wanted to just come start the vlog. I did get some stuff from Target to aid me, um, in what I'm trying to do. And I think that this is cool because that way when he does get back home, I've already been doing it for about a week. So I'll just be able to keep it going. Um, like I said, anybody in a relationship know how it goes, that happy weight relationship. 
and weight and all that. So I'm just trying to heal my skin for real. And real quick, before I go upstairs, so since babe is out of town, I need to be the one walking Benji all the times that he gets walked. Yay. So I'm going straight to the gym when I get off work if my headache is gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk Benji now on my lunch break, but I don't wanna forget to show y'all what I got. So I just picked up a couple things. I ran in Home Goods and I got one of my favorite um, sugar-free creamers. So y'all know I'm a Tarani girl. So I got the vanilla bean. I had some regular um, syrup at the house and I also have been making my own brown sugar syrup. syrup. I gotta cut that out. So I just went and got this sugar-free vanilla bean y'all know i had got the regular vanilla bean some months ago because i was like oh well whatever what does 25 calories make it makes a difference when you're not measuring so y'all know tarani has zero i might have to grab an energy drink when i get up there because my head is banging also from target i just got two little ice creams to keep in my freezer for the week and you know however long they last so i got the favorite day 370 calorie cookie dough 20 grams of protein per pint and of course i, I wouldn't eat a whole pint in one sitting i would definitely weigh it out so um 120 calories per serving and um that's really good so i got cookie dough and then i got mocha cold brew 21 grams of protein per pint so y'all know i used to love halo top and all of that but these were much more um affordable they were like three dollars and the macros aren't bad if you weigh it out even if you eat the whole thing 370 calories for a pint of ice cream is not bad but i won't be doing that but it's not bad the last thing that i got is some pizza sauce or i mean marinara sauce of course, I got the Rayos because it is the least amount of calories. Um, it only has 80 calories, six carbs, and one dietary fiber for five per, uh, uh, so five, and then it's for half a cup. So tonight, I'm just gonna put some ground turkey and some vegetables in a skillet with some sauce. Y'all will see. Nothing crazy, but yeah, y'all, hopefully I come back with like more energy because right now I literally feel like I'm about to pass out. So I'm gonna go walk Benji and then I will grab an energy drink and I'll be back. All right, gang, so I'm back and I feel so much better. Y'all, I wanted to come back. I'm on my way to the gym, but I wanted to come back just because I wanted to tell y'all like about my experience yesterday. I did fast and I just drank water. So I guess I did a 24 hour water fast, which was cool. Um, y'all know I'm no stranger to fasting. I'm no stranger to, you know, doing liquid diet. Like I'm no stranger to doing all that. So yesterday wasn't that difficult. And then um, Saturday night before babe went out of town, of course we ate and stuff like that. So so I think that's why yesterday wasn't bad. I feel like day one of any fast is like the easiest, in my opinion. It don't get bad until like day three or four. But um, I just wanted to come and just talk about like that and just talk about the culture. So I feel 100% better because I did drink half, um, a little more half of um, a Kiwi Guava Alani New Energy drink. Y'all know I do like those. So I drank about half, a little more than half of that and instantly my headache went away. So I just wanted to say like, I really think like caffeine is such a crazy, crazy, crazy drug because um, I also told y'all that I was cutting back from so much caffeine and feeling so dependent on it. So I've been like not drinking as much. I went a week and a couple days without it. And then I'm trying to go like a couple days a week without it. So I had no caffeine yesterday and then I had no caffeine today up until y'all saw me, which was around lunchtime. But I am working on it. So I am just gonna continue to cut back on it. But yeah, I just had a crazy headache. And if I would not have drank some caffeine, I would not have made it to the gym because my head was hurting that bad. So I, I definitely had to drink a little bit. But I did also want to touch on the fact that social media, like, it's crazy. If you want to do, like, any type of fast, if you want to get closer to God, if you want to do, like, a Daniel fast, or if you want to do, like, a water fast, or a liquid diet, your best bet is to stay off of social media. When I tell you, if not every 
other post, every other other post was some food, some fast food, something somebody was cooking, a meal plan. Like it was crazy. And I felt like I knew that, but it wasn't until, and it's never until you're doing a fast that it actually hit you about how much food and overconsumption we got going on like it was crazy so yeah that would be like my biggest tip if you want to fast and i don't know i really felt it yesterday because i um wasn't eating i was just drinking kind of flushed my body um for what i had on saturday which i think really did help but y'all it's crazy it's literally crazy how much food they posed it's really crazy so yeah definitely 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 um even just seeing that all of the fried stuff and all of that is just it's a lot and i will say last week and the weeks prior like i have been feeling heavy i have been just feeling off i've been like tired of food the last week for sure, I didn't even know what to make for dinner no more. And I just, we just ate like a variation of tacos, maybe two, three days because I just couldn't think no more. I did like a taco bowl. We made um, tostadas and then um, something else because I just was so tired of thinking about what we're gonna eat. So that's why this week so far, it's only Monday, but it's been easy yesterday and today because I don't have to think about what we're gonna eat. Um, so that's one tip. And then I am fasting right now. So I've been fasting since 5.30 yesterday. And I'll probably be fasting until 5.30 tonight because it's 3.30. I'm headed to the gym. I'm going to do a quick workout because I do still need to walk my son, Benji. And then um, I'll shower and then I'll cook. So I'll probably go over 24 hours of fasting today. And when I say fasting, I mean physically eating something. I don't consider that energy drink as breaking my fast because the whole can is 10 calories and I didn't even drink the whole can. But if you deem that as breaking my fast, whatever. But yeah, I don't feel like I broke my fast. I almost did when I went home. That's another thing. It is really, really, really hard. And I commend myself and anybody else who fast, intermittent fast, or do any type of fasting. Because it's really hard when you see, smell, all this stuff around you. Like, I ran home on lunch to walk Benji and to also grab an energy drink. And as soon as I walked through the door, I saw all these things that I could grab and snack on. And it does get hard. It does get hard. Like, I never want to be like the postal child. Like, it's so easy. Y'all see me. I've took a couple steps back. It's definitely not easy, um, but I am trying. I'm actually trying, 100% trying right now, and I'm just going to congratulate myself, give myself a pat on the back, because I, I just no longer can beat myself up about it. Um, I've expressed how I felt about myself, like, oh, I feel like this, I feel like that. I gained some weight back after I lost it all on keto. Da, da, da. It is what it is. Life happens. I've, I'm happy. And I'm not going to beat myself up about weight anymore. And you shouldn't either. So um, we are definitely about to go to the gym. Hopefully it's not too packed because it's only 340. Like I'm hoping that I can get like a treadmill, a bench, some weights. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of that. I think I'm going to focus on legs today because I have not. So I think I'm going to focus on legs today. I'll sh take y'all in the gym with me. And then I will show y'all what I'm going to eat for dinner. I literally don't know what this dinner is going to be called. Um, I just took out some stuff that I saw in our freezer. And I'm just going to throw it together. Because again, babe's not here. So I don't really have to think hard about dinner. You know what I mean? And hopefully after this week goes by, I'll kind of be in my groove. And I won't let anything deter me. So, with that being said, let's get to the gym, y'all. Because one thing about me, I'm not trying to be in the gym two, three, four hours. I'm trying to be in the gym 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm trying to go home. Um. So, yeah. Let's go here. This is the peace that you cannot buy. Tell me a love that you cannot mix. One is the joy that you cannot waste. The other on. one price that you cannot Come on. Come on. This is the peace that you cannot buy.
getting home from the gym. I'm famished. I stopped eating last night at around 5.30. It is 5.18 and I'm about to make me a plate and wait a couple minutes. But yeah, I didn't show y'all me cooking this because it's really nothing. I just did some ground turkey and then I put in a bag of these mixed peas and then I put in two cups of the Rayo's. Um, marinara sauce don't really know what this is i really want to make a piece of garlic bread but i'm not um, i'm just gonna eat this out of a bowl and i am gonna get me either a water or a dr pepper cherry but yeah so these are some of the keto meals that i used to make still tasty um but really no carbs so at 5 it's either 5 24 or 5 30 i will have fasted for 24 hours so i think i'm gonna do this for the rest of the week eat a bigger dinner before eight and then fast all day until it's time to eat again so i'll probably just put um the rest of this in a bowl and have the same thing for dinner tomorrow What's up, gang? So I wasn't even vlogging right now, but I am on a coffee run for the doctor that I work under. And I was just coming back to let y'all know, things like this happen all the time. When you're trying to be on your best behavior, you're trying to do good, you're trying to cut your calories. He's like, hey, Danny, can you run, grab me a frosted coffee from Chick-fil-A? And if you ain't never had a frosted coffee from Chick-fil-A, you're missing out. They are so good. And he's like, get whatever you want, get coffee, get breakfast. You know, it's on me. I'm not getting anything because I'm fasting. I've been fasting for 24 hours and I'm not gonna eat until around five something this evening just because I'm finding it very beneficial for fasting. I've been waking up each day feeling lighter, feeling better. And y'all, I was just coming back to show y'all things like this happen. You gotta be mentally strong. You gotta be prepared to not waver. You gotta be prepared to not give up. But y'all, things like this are gonna happen daily and you just gotta focus so yeah i just wanted to come and tell y'all what's going on like why now while i'm trying to do good and fast you talking about oh yeah breakfast on me because i don't know if i was vlogging last week he bought everybody panera and luckily i um i got a salad or whatever but i'm just like come on come on so yeah let me get this uh frosted coffee for him i'll show y'all everybody should have a chick-fil-a and if you are like haven't had it or interested in having it i definitely recommend giving it a try because it's so freaking good one thing about the chick-fil-a they gonna be fast but yeah so i just ran and got him a frosted coffee <laughs> it's so funny i told y'all i'm kind of like the catch-all like i got my duties i'm supposed to do kind of like a, his assistant i guess whatever um as far as just like stuff like this bank runs and just any other thing that come up he always asks me like hey danny you know will you do this for me and i'm just like yeah like who don't want to leave the job for a minute to get some fresh air getting paid getting to eat but i'm doing better but yeah this is a frosted coffee so basically it is like a cappuccino but it's an iced coffee whipped and frosted up y'all this is so good this is literally one of the best things that chick-fil-a make and then i love chick-fil-a ice who doesn't so i've just got some ice and i'm just gonna uh pour it over oh i got the receipt for him yeah good i'm just gonna um pour my water over the ice because i'm not hungry i'm fasting so i didn't get anything but anyway let me get back to work i just wanted to call i mean i just wanted to pop on and tell y'all how stuff be happening and how you got to be strong so yeah anyway all right, I'll see y'all in my next clip. Y'all are seeing this Wednesday, so hopefully y'all are having a happy Wednesday. I am gonna end this vlog like around lunchtime. I'm gonna go run and grab something from my old apartment. So shout out to um, the girl that moved in my apartment. Y'all remember that whole fiasco? It was so stressful. I was subletting it and she got approved. She had to go through everything I went through and it was just a crazy time. But she texted me this morning and was like, hey girl. I was like, hey girl. She was like, um, you got a package. So we'll go get that on my lunch and I'll show y'all what it is. And then I'm gonna end this vlog because I really want y'all to be able to see it Wednesday um 
so yeah i'll end it there but i just wanted to come and tell y'all that so let me get back to work and i will see y'all um on my lunch break all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog but shout out to Lindsay. y'all already know i love Lindsay real bad she's the one that owns royal chaos and she be making the lip gloss that i love y'all this is still the same lip gloss that i keep in my car i told y'all the label gone the top gone everything gone she um is pregnant she's having a baby soon so congratulations to her she sent me this cute cup so she sent me this cup where i can put like water coffee really whatever i want it is so cute and y'all know i love a cup so she put my instagram name on it and then she put my sorority she put gremlin because if y'all don't know we did meet at gremlin state university that is my girl we've been friends for over i want to say over 15 years now which is crazy um and then she just put california because that's where i'm from what was raised louisiana is where i was born and that's where i spent a lot of time wmi so wmi stands for weapons of mass intoxication so when we were in college my friends and i we created a drinking fraternity slash sorority and we all had drinking names so i was the ace of the line um it was weapons of mass intoxication and my line name was diabolical disaster because in college i would get drunk and it would not it it would be diabolical so i was diabolical disaster and um we had line shirts if i can find like pictures i'll put them on the screen because a time was had we used to host huge house parties like and the sorority was just like me my brother ebony who's my favorite cousin um and then like all our friends it wasn't a real thing it was just something we made up weapons of mass intoxication so all uh, that's like and then she put hashtag danny game because per so yeah if i could find pictures of when i was in wmi i will definitely put them on the screen we had t-shirts all the time we threw like halloween parties we had like every theme holiday we made a weapons of mass intoxication name um my brother's name was like silent sniper um Lindsay, who um made this and since to me her line name was like hand grenade because if you've been in new orleans y'all know all about hand grenades so yeah that was a time it was a time to be alive okay so i'll put some pictures on the screen walk down memory lane she also sent me a beautiful um sterling silver straw to go with my new cup per and then these she knows to get in my heart she knows kid in my heart. So she sent me the lippies. She sent me lippies, lippies, lippies. So um, y'all know I love these lip glosses. I couldn't remember the name, but it's uh, Majesty. And she got the name on them. So I rant and rave about these. I know she finna have her baby, so she probably gonna be down for a little bit. But I will ask her if she's making and selling these still. And if she is, run, don't walk. So now I'm going to have one in my car. I'm going to put one in my purse and I'm going to have one at home. Baby, these are the best. So yeah, it's clear gloss. But I love her gloss. She hand makes it and it is packaged. Look at the packaging. It's like sealed. Like don't play with her. Don't ever play with her. Um, and then her son's name is Royal. So isn't that so cute? Um, but yeah, so... Um, she sent me three of these, so shout out to her because she knows how much I love these. I prefer it in this um, container, but I also do like this one as well. So before I go, just look at the old one and the new one. Like, that's crazy. Like, I will never throw this away. I used it this morning. So yeah, y'all, um, shout out to her. Thank you, girl. Um, and if she making cups and stuff, I will um, let y'all know. But shout out to her. Love her real bad. So yeah, y'all. Um, I'm actually finna go ahead and read a little bit. I'm gonna read a little bit. And then I will see y'all in my next video. I am reading a quick book because um, I start a new book Thursday. So I really just wanted to bang out like a quick book. This is Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. It's only like 150 pages. So something to hold me over for today and tomorrow since I finished Missing White Woman. And if y'all want to know all about that, you can go to my um, book channel. But yeah, reading Dark Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. And I am so addicted to it. I am literally... 20% in and I just started it yesterday so well last night late last night at that so 
But yeah, y'all, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Um, and if y'all have any, like, tips on, like, my skin and stuff, let me know. Because I did get prescribed something from my um, dermatologist, which kind of works. But I still um, have, like, issues. So if you can kind of see, like, this is happening to my skin. So, um, and then, like, right here, it's, like, dark patches. And I, I don't understand why. And what my dermatologist prescribed, I don't know if it's working. So I am still drastically cutting back my carbs this week and stuff like that to kind of get on the routine. It's easier because babe is not here. Um, But y'all let me know if y'all have seen or dealt with stuff like this on your skin. And if so, let me know what I need to do. All right. I love you. Bye. I had to come back y'all because I'm settled down for the night. I am reading my book and I decided to get me a serving of ice cream y'all. I put it on the scale. I weighed it out. I'm really trying to do better and I'm very excited about what I got going on right now. I'm getting out of my head and I'm just doing what I know how to do. But anyway, I came back to tell y'all if you like like coffee or espresso ice cream or ice cream that's mostly vanilla with like a little bit of chocolate, y'all, this ice cream, I'm going to put the container on the side of the screen, is so bomb. I just put two more cartons in my cart to pick up from Target tomorrow to keep in my freezer. Now, the other flavor, the cookie dough one, I don't recommend. Very nasty. But this one, yeah, run, don't walk. All right, love y'all. Bye.